And really the primary cause of periodontal disease is a bacterial infection and the body's attempt to, to fight that infection. So we need to eliminate plaque bacteria. Now often we will have patients who will come visit us that have very severe gum disease and I hear this almost every day, doctor, it doesn't hurt, I have no pain. So they can have 50% bone loss around their teeth and have no pain. They can have so much bone loss, their teeth become loose and fall out and they have no pain. So one of the things that we can do is if we see a space, a gap, a pocket around someone's uh, tooth or teeth that is deeper than it should be, often that harbors harmful bacteria we can take a sample of that plaque bacteria and we can look at it under the microscope. The microscope will then put the image on our, on our monitor and we actually have a brand new camera that I have not yet uh, put into operation that gives us better resolution and better image. So we're not looking through the lens anymore. We're, we can see this, this digital image and we can determine are there particularly harmful types of bacteria present? We can see them and do this all with a matter of a couple minutes. Uh, and it's, it's not painful to the patient. The patient then can then see the bacteria that's in their mouth, and I can explain to them what a harmful bacteria looks like. We can also see white blood cells. So if there's an active infection, the body's trying to, to kill these bacteria, and we can actually see these white blood cells within the patient's own plaque. White blood cells are what we find typically when we referred to pus, I know that's kind of a gross term, but we can actually see the, the microscopic image within a matter of minutes 